As you may know, Kerbal Space Program 2 is set to release sometime in 2022, and I believe that mods will continue to be a very strong part of the program. Hello, my name is Mark and welcome to my channel. What I'd like to discuss with you today is how to install mods into the current release of Kerbal Space Program. So let's take a look. The first method I'm going to show you is manually installing a mod. Now, that involves downloading the mod you want and then placing it in the correct location in order for the program to recognize it. So let's go ahead and find a mod that we might be interested in. There are plenty of websites out there that have Kerbal Space Program mods, two of which that I prefer are GitHub and Space Dock. So for this, for this demonstration, I'm going to choose Space Dock. So I'm going to go to the website. And again, I will place all the links to these websites in the description below. But here we are at Space Dock. Now, there are plenty of mods. There are a lot of mods that are out there for the game. But let's say we wanted to, we wanted one specific to planetary bases. So I'm just going to type in base and filter out anything related to bases. And look, we got a bunch of stuff here. So I see this right here, Kerbal Planetary Base System. I like that mod, so I'm going to choose it. So I'll click on it. It'll bring me to this page. This page tells you the author, how many times it's been downloaded, what version of the game it's compatible with. This looks good, so I'm going to go ahead and hit download. And your job now is to make sure you know where that downloads to. Now, mine goes into my download folder. I've already taken the liberty of pulling that file out. And this is what we just downloaded. So if I click on it right now, it's going to show a bunch of stuff. Now, there's a lot of text that you're not going to need here. It's what's ever in this game data folder. So if I click on it, you'll see these folders here that include all the the mod itself plus any mod that it needs in order to operate, right? We want the planetary bases, but it also requires that you have the community resource pack and the community category kit. So you're actually sometimes downloading more than one mod to be able to have it work for you. Now that we have our mod, we need to put it in the correct spot for the program to recognize it. Now, what you need to do is find out where your program is installed so you can locate it. I'll show you a different method in a minute that's much faster if you use Steam. But for now, um, mine was on my, C, my E drive and it was right here with all my other programs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this Kerbal Space Program and you're going to see right in here a bunch of files. We're going to choose the one that says Game Data. This is where we're going to put our mods. So if I open that up, I really don't have any mods. I don't use mods a lot. Sometimes I use them, sometimes I take them off. But for now, this is where we need to be. Okay, so we're going to leave that window open and then we're going to open up our mod that we downloaded. Now, notice the, the, the parent name to this folder was Game Data. We don't want to drag that in there. We're going to open up Game Data in our mod folder and we're just going to grab these three mods and we're going to drag them over into this folder. So let's double check I have them all. Oh, that one's a little bit bigger. And sure enough, I have my planetary bases, my community resource pack, and my community category kit. So all is good. It's now installed. Now we're going to test to make sure it's in there. Okay, so now we have Kerbal Space Program open. Now let's take a look and see if we got that mod installed properly. So I'm going to start any one of my games that I previously saved. And again, remember, I had no mods installed. So I'm going to go to Resume Saved, and I'll just pick one of my games. And let's take a look by going to the Vehicle Assembly Building. There we go. Click on that. And now I'm just going to go to the very first one here. And look, there it is. We got our central hub there. And it, they should show up in all different places. Like there's parts to the bases as well. So this was successfully installed. We're, we're good to go. Now there is a faster way to navigate to the folder you need to install your mods in, and that's by using Steam. So if you are a Steam user, you're going to open up the Steam program. You're going to find all your games and find out where Kerbal Space Program is. There it is. I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to open up the properties tab. And it's going to open up this window, which gives you a choice for your local files. Now, if I click on that, we have a browse feature. I'm going to click on browse and boom, there it is. This is exactly the Kerbal Space Program folder we used in order to install the mod before. So if I go to game data, 
you can see there's my planetary base system mod that I installed before. Now the second method I'm going to show you is what I believe to be the safest, fastest, and easiest way to install and even uninstall mods into Kerbal Space Program. It's by using something called CCAN. Now CCAN is actually a program that you can find on GitHub and I'm going to go ahead again and I'm going to put this link in the description below so that when you go to this you'll see that you have a download here for the program and it, it's in different formats for different operating systems. Um, I would choose the EXE if I'm in Windows, you choose whatever would work for you. So I've downloaded that and then I would run it. So if I click on it and download it, you can go ahead and open it and it will automatically start to install. Now that you have CCAN downloaded and installed, we're gonna go ahead and launch the program. So I'm just gonna go to my start button and type in CCAN. You can put it as a uh, shortcut icon on your desktop. And when it starts, it's going to populate your window with a lot of mods to choose from. And we have a bunch of mods. And I mean, look at how many there are here. Now, one thing to note is that you have mods that have these checkboxes next to them and some that have these dashes. Right now, if it has a checkbox next to it, it means it's it's compatible with whatever version you're working with or you choose to work with, right? So. If I go to my filters and I look at compatible, there are 298 of them. So if I click on it, it'll get rid of all the ones with dashes. Now, these are the ones that I can now check in order to install them. Now, these are all set right now to the current version. You don't have to take on the current version if you don't want to. If you hit settings and go to compatible game versions, you see right now I have it set to filter out the newest updates to them, right? But if I want to... Let's say there was a mod that wasn't currently available in the new update and I wanted to bring it back into the game. You have to be careful with those. They sometimes work, sometimes don't work, but they've mostly worked for uh, uh, for me lately. So I'm going to choose uh, 1.11 and 1.10. So now it's going to filter out all of those. So I'm going to hit accept. And now if I go to filter and I hit compatible, look, I have 871 now uh, mods that I can choose. So... Let's go ahead and choose a couple of these. So let's say I want a, a rover mod. Let's see if there's a rover mod in here. So I click it, and it's going to list all the rover mods, compatible or not. And I'm going to look at the ones that are checked with boxes here. And look, we have the feline utility rover. I'll pick that. Malmute rover. I'll pick that. And if I have it checked, it's going to be installed as soon as I hit this apply changes. So I'm going to go ahead and hit apply changes. It's going to list for you not only the mods that you want, but the mods that are required to be downloaded to support those. So I'm going to go ahead and hit apply down here. And this is when it installs. Okay. It's now installed. So what we're going to now do is we're going to check in uh, Kerbal Space Program to see if those rovers have shown up. Okay. So here's the game. Let's see if those rovers popped in. So I'm going to hit start game. I'm going to go to resume saved. It doesn't matter. It's going to be for all the games. I'll choose any one of these and go to the vehicle assembly building. And if I'm not mistaken, what's nice about this mod is it actually gives you a tab for rovers. Unlike the stock. So if we go down here, look, we have a rover tab. Things look good and boom. We've got the Malamute and the feline uh, ro utility rover parts all here ready to go. Okay, perfect. That's what we want. What I want to do now, though, so let's say for some reason they didn't show up or it wasn't compatible or you're just tired of working with mods. You can actually uninstall them just as easily by bringing up CCAN. Let's type that in again. And bringing it up. And all I have to do is whatever mods I don't want, I, all I have to do is just uncheck them. That's it. You don't have to do anything else. If it's unchecked and you go to apply changes, CCAN automatically recognizes those mods as ones that you want to remove. And as you can see, they're ready to go. I'm going to hit apply. It's going to remove everything it put in there in the first place and give you back what you had prior to installing the mods. Okay, here we are back at the program, and uh, let me take this time to remind you of something very important, that if you made any changes with CCAN, those changes will not take into effect until the next time you boot up Kerbal Space Program. So if you had Kerbal Space Program running as you changed things, you're just going to have to shut down the program and restart it for everything to be either loaded or unloaded the way you want it. Okay, so let's, let's go ahead and take a look in the vehicle assembly building and see if everything worked out the way it should. 
Okay, we'll go in the vehicle assembly building. And look, no rover tab. So all the rover parts have been removed. CCAN has successfully removed those two mods we didn't want anymore. And again, I truly believe that CCAN is the way to go. Safest, fastest, easiest way to either install or uninstall mods. So thank you very much for hanging in there. This was a fairly long tutorial. I really appreciate your patience. If you have any questions or concerns, feel free to leave them in the comments below. And if you feel up to it, by all means, hit that like button and maybe even subscribe. But I do appreciate your time. Thank you very much. This is Mark signing off for now. Take care.